gardeners so I don't know if you can tell but I am like pretty sick um I had a great time in Canada and it was a lot of fun I got to see my family which I've missed so much and I'm so happy to be home but I haven't really been doing much because I'm very sick so I'm gonna try to get through this video hopefully my voice isn't too horrible but um, I do have some updates that I want to keep you guys updated with and I redid my boa constrictor enclosure so I'm going to go ahead and show you how I did that and just go over a couple of things that maybe you have missed over the holidays. And I hope that you guys had an amazing Christmas and a happy new year. So while I was in Canada, I had my boyfriend watching all of my animals and I was really nervous because he never is the one to take care of the animals. It's kind of my thing and then he just likes the animals. He likes being around them and seeing them every now and then, but he never actually takes care of them. So I literally post-it noted like every single thing and was telling him instructions every single day. And he did an amazing job and I was so happy and proud of him. Like I can't believe how great of a job he did. And it's great because he actually built more of a relationship with all of my animals too. So that was also really awesome. But it was really cool because um, while I was gone, I have been waiting for this one egg to hatch, this one crested gecko egg. Um, Oakley laid a clutch and it was just one egg that one time and that was three months ago So it has been incubating for the longest time and it finally hatched of course when I wasn't there And I literally checked this egg like every single day. I'm pretty sure you guys saw me like Obsessing about it while I was doing my seven-day vlog, but it finally hatched and it hatched on Christmas Day so my boyfriend actually took care of the little baby, took the little baby out of the incubation box and set him up and everything. So I'll go ahead and add a clip so you guys can see him now. And I was really happy because I came home to the new baby crusted gecko and my boyfriend actually bought me this new 4x2x2 by two by two enclosure and I am so so happy with it and that is what I set up today and I'll be showing you it's for my boa constrictor vendetta so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that and then other than that I was just really happy because I came home to like two perfect sheds from Metamora and vendetta and my gargoyle gecko laid two more eggs, which is really exciting, but they don't look the best. So she laid one other clutch one other time and they didn't look that great and they went bad. These look a little bit better, but I'm still not sure it could go either way. So I'm hoping that these eggs can turn out to be okay somehow. One looks better than the other. So I'll just keep you guys updated with that because I really want gargoyle babies and it's just been really, really difficult to get eggs from her lately. So with all that said, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I set up my new boa constrictor enclosure and then I'm just going to bring you around my room because I kind of renovated a couple of things. I'm still a work in progress. I still have things going on that I want to change. So I'm going to go ahead and just update you guys on all of that. And that is everything for today. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video. I'll be back again soon. Hopefully my voice will be a little bit better than this because this is rough. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.
So this is going to be my little update of the reptile room and what it looks like. So over by the window, we just have Kiwi, my leopard gecko. And then this is basically the whole new area. So um, I added this big enclosure. This is a four by two by two, and it is by um, Zen Habitats. I really do love this enclosure. However, I have found a couple of problems with it just because I don't think it's the most snake proof enclosure and so I'm gonna have to make some changes with it um, like one of the things is actually back here this thing over here is like you literally just pop it in and I feel like the snake could escape from it and literally just go through it so I taped it up because I don't trust it at all um, another thing is these doors I just I don't know I don't know if a snake could potentially open this it's definitely easier to open because I have the knob. I don't have that down here. So I don't know if that's an issue. And then the other thing that I don't really like entirely is the lid. And this lid literally just sets on top. Like you literally just put it on there, it can come right off. So if you have a really big strong snake in here, it could literally just lift this up. So I have a lot of weight on it right now just to keep it down. There's no way that he could ever get out. He's so tiny right now, but I'm just a little concerned for that when he gets big. I don't want him to be like pushing his face up on this and then escaping. So I'm going to have to try and figure something out about that as time goes on. But for right now, it looks amazing. Um, I really like how spacious it is and he definitely seems to like it. He has been in his hot hide a lot. He has a heat pad on the bottom underneath that hide over there. And I gave him a basking light because he normally does not like to sit in a hide. He's always out and about, but he's been in his hide for a couple of days now since I set it up just because it's a new enclosure and he's still figuring it out and just wants to feel safe. So I'm sure once he gets more comfortable, he'll be out and about more often. So that's everything that I have right now. Bowie is right underneath. I have my corn snake right in here, and then this is my green tree python, and then I have crusted and gargoyle geckos. I kind of put everything up. I put my babies over here. There's Oakley, and then of course Dude and Chancho, Papaya and Banba are all in the same spots. Banba looks so cute. Hi, how are you doing? And then I kind of just, my problematic areas right now is just this corner and this. So that's mango, another crusted gecko, and then ponyo, and then my ball python, and then a frog on the bottom. So what I'm hoping to do is to get a racking system that I will actually be putting in my room over here. And that is going to be a racking system that is going to be for all of my amphibians. So once I do that, I would definitely make this better looking because it's just kind of open and weird. I don't like stacked tubs. Like that just cringes me. I, I hate it. So yeah, so I really like this area. Still working on things, but this is what I have so far. <laughs> 